Good morning, Owensboro, Kentucky, here in my studio. Thought I'd show you my little plein air setup that I'm going to take out on my bicycle this morning, do some painting. Been stuck here in the studio too much. Time to get out and do some painting other than it's just a gray, cold day with a chance of rain, but that's not going to stop me. So anyway, here's my kit, and I'll pan down okay, here. show you what I got. I can be able to see me, but... I'll point out everything and start with the most important piece is the palette I'm using is the fly on the wall uh, from prolific painter Joshua Bean got this from him out there in Colorado I stopped and visited his uh, studio 2016 so I really love this thing it's small and compact and lightweight um, right now I'm just gonna go with a very limited palette of colors just a titanium white, a lemon, a cadmium lemon yellow, a alizarin crimson, and ultramarine blue. Uh, that should be all I need today. It's being a gray day. I don't need any any bright colors. Uh, I'll use his new. I just got the sketchbook for Christmas. Bonus, and it's got all the grayscale markers and pen to do a preliminary thumbnail sketch. Really important. Uh, sometimes I skip that step, but it's really a good thing to have and get your idea down before you commit it to canvas. Speaking of that, I'm just taking a, normally a 6x8 size wet panel carrier. This is also from Prolific Painter. Um, and cut down to uh, 4x6. So I got four 4x6 four panels here to paint on. I'm just taking a small selection of brushes. I use the Princeton 6300 synthetics. I've used all kinds of brushes. These seem to hold up the best, keep an edge longer for me. So I like those. <coughs> uh, I take two number fours and two number sixes and then a liner brush. And then I use a oh, uh, skewer, wooden skewer, so I can scratch in some little places. Uh, just a regular, just a thin palette knife. Do some color mixing and scraping my palette off. I take this uh, multi-tool because I'm on a bicycle you never know what you might run into and also comes in handy for other things. Uh, I've got a camera tripod which it's a good one it's a Manfrotto but it's a little bit heavy I'd like to get a little bit lighter one just to you know, keep the weight down. Uh, turp jar also from Prolific Painter. Uh, paper towels always need those and I just take one that's used up so I don't have a big bulky roll of paper towels and of course my helmet and gloves today because it's cold out so that's all I need today to go out and do some sketching so that's we'll what's see up. what happens and grab me some water throw my phone up here and we'll go ahead out and see what we can find to paint so I just drove across here to the river bottoms in southern Indiana and got my bicycle and this is the first time I've done this so let's see what happens. <laughs> I haven't found anything. I'm actually just trying to get my riding legs back. It's been a while since I've been out to ride. Just realized I forgot something. My trash bag that goes on here, the good one. This is just, but that works. Just doesn't look professional. I always, I knew I'd forget something.
So I'm basically ready to go. Okay, so here's my preliminary sketch. Down the road there. Sorry I wasn't able to video it. I guess I need to get a taller tripod. I knew that, but this is all I got for right now. So here's my setup. And let's get to painting. This is a four by six small painting, just a quick sketch. I didn't time myself, that's probably about a half an hour. Not that that matters, but just, you know, something like that. You're just trying to get the color and value information down and call it good. Hey, I, think it, I think it grabs the impression of the scene. So that's what I was after. Is where having a bicycle and coming out to do your plein air painting comes in handy because it's a, it's a complaint I've heard a lot from a, a lot of my <coughs> fellow painters especially here locally because a lot of our roads have nowhere to pull over so you're out to and along and find something you want to paint but there's nowhere to park without getting in trouble or getting stuck or something like that so Having a bicycle and loaded up to come out to paint is a great, great solution to that problem. Plus, you get some exercise and it gives you a chance to slow down and really look. <coughs> so. Okay, I think my battery's about dead, it's froze. But this is what I got. A sketch, or my <clears throat> thumbnail, sketch, and the subject. Out here in Spencer County, Indiana. And I guess I'm gonna load up and head back to the truck. Got two little sketches done, and time to go home and fold laundry. Yeehaw.